Donald J. Trump. I got your email, and when I seen that email come from you, Donald Trump, I said to myself, this is from the president of the United States of America. I'm telling you something, Donald Trump, before I... No... You still my president of the United States of America. You ten, you the former president. No, you my president. Oh, boy, Barack Obama wasn't my president. Yeah, you my president. I just want to salute you. Yeah, I can't believe my people gonna get mad. Because I say that you my president, not Barack. <laughs> my people get mad and they get mad at the air. <laughs> if it's cold outside, they get mad. If, it, if it's hot outside, they get mad. If it start raining, they get mad. They don't care. Yeah, if Sleepy Joe <laughs> going up the plane, they get mad. <laughs> if he fall down and his dog wrap around his legs and yank him, they get mad. They get mad over anything. rocking with you for a long time Donald Trump yeah I remember when you came to Dallas you had a rally in Dallas at the American Airlines Center yeah I was there I went to the Donald Trump rally at the American Airlines Center I was the only black no <laughs> no I didn't go by myself oh I went to I went with Charleston White yeah, the guy that's all over the internet right now. Yeah, me and Charleston White went to the Donald Trump rally together. Man, these people looking at this video right now, they gonna be like, Charleston White and Whispers know each other like that? Yeah, we went to the Donald Trump rally together. No, I didn't buy me no I didn't buy me no merchandise. Now, if you recall, Charleston White used to wear this hat that he pulled down and it was a Donald Trump hat and he used to always brag about wearing it. Yeah, I went in my pocket and I bought that hat for Charleston White. Yeah, that hat he went down in history, so I'm a part of American history. Yeah. I don't know, I ain't talked to old Charleston, man. Last, last time me and Charleston really talked, yeah, we went to the Kevin Hart concert together when he came to Dallas a couple of months ago. Yeah, Kevin Hart, yeah, a little short Kevin. <laughs> I heard them jokes that he made about you. Yeah, he made some, some jokes about you, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> One thing about it, boy, you are you are a professional liar. You stand, you stand, you standing here in my face, to my you, <laughs> you and Kevin Hart was on the beach skinny dipping, and y'all you st you stop that. Don't you dare start eyes I know Kevin. Y'all was skinny dipping, and when y'all got out the water, <laughs> the water turned black. <laughs> But one thing about it, you will talk bad about black people, but you talk bad about white people, too. <laughs> yeah. Man, I remember, man, you was you was president, but I was so happy. And every time I wake up, boy, I would say, all oh, my people, yeah, my people, they always kept killing each other. And I say, man, it hurt me because I remember when I went to the Trump rally, yeah, let me tell you a story when I went to the Trump rally, Donald Trump. 
and I had been working all day. I met old Charleston downtown Dallas, and we got there. I say, well, man, maybe not, might not be that many people there. Boy, there was so many people out there. Boy, I got nervous and scared. I say, I ain't never seen this many white folks in my life. Yeah, we couldn't get in because it was too many. But I was standing up against the wall. Yeah, we stayed for the whole thing. I was standing up against the wall. Yeah. A lot of policemen. I was standing up against the wall, and there was a white woman sitting next to her husband. And they were standing there, and he looked at me and asked me, how was I doing? <laughs> I had to turn around and say, oh, man, I done went out. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I said to myself, I done went all day. And just to think, I get to the end of the and this man finna start tripping. And I looked at him and he said, yes, I've been all right all day. He said, oh, you tired? I said, I am tired. I've been at work. Been a long day. He said, would you do me the honors of sitting in my seat? I said to myself, man, this, this white man sitting next to his white wife. Yeah, sitting next white, white, white people sitting next to his white wife. And he got up and let me sit in his seat. And I sat down and I felt so bad. And his wife hit me on my hand. She said, it's okay. We just proud you here today. I just want to let you know it's not about color. We all Americans. Man, that blew my mind. Ever since then, I looked at you totally different. And I understand. Mm hmm let me ask you a question why did you send them people up in there in capital <laughs> you sent the proud boy you sent everybody up in there and you sent one black man he went to jail right along with all of us white people yeah Boy, America need to be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, now they trying to go over there in Mexico. Like, look, you try to warn these people to build that wall, and they didn't want to fit. You right. You try to tell them what was going to happen. Yeah, that wall was to keep us over there and keep them on their side. Yeah, we trying to. Man, them people, four people know they went over there to buy them bricks. They went over there and they didn't come back. Two of them became alligator meat chop chop. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Donald Trump, you didn't care. <laughs> in the email when you want it was an attachment now what email uh, about about the woman the woman when you say you punch your red in the that one no not you that was monica lewinsky with john with clinton yeah reagan he was too old yeah nancy would have slapped him yeah, George. Yeah, I went to George Bush. They, they, they were sending people all now. What email? Right. Man, you ain't did nothing wrong. Yeah, you just want to go have a little fun. Yeah, it's okay. They found out about the hush money. Ooh. What they say? You gonna be arrested on Tuesday. Boy, <laughs> who gonna be arrested? You mean tell me they finally got the big fish? 
ain't no way that what my hat say, the real Jonathan Stewart, yeah. I appreciate that y'all be branding myself. And I just got to deal with these glasses right here. Yeah, everybody, oh, with my bad, you ain't got to talk about my glasses. You, Jonathan Trump, you mean to tell me you going to be arrested Tuesday? Like, you already know they already gave you. <laughs> Boy, you so funny. Now, you are, they already told you you going to be arrested. Nobody know. I ain't never heard nobody in the world come out a week before and let everybody know when they gonna be arrested. That's not normal for people to know stuff like that. <laughs> How you find out you gonna be arrested Monday? Boy, I ain't lying, boy. Donald Trump, you so cool, man. I promise you my president. Boy, you st <laughs> I like when you were standing at the podium and they do that shoe when you do it right. That it look bad. I say, boy, I tell you what, Donald Trump's so cool, man. I promise you, if it's if it was some kind of way, I can take a pill, and I can peel this black skin off, <laughs> and I can just be white like you for one day. I think I would have did just for only one day, not forever now. <laughs> yeah, would have been. <laughs> I'd have peeled this black skin off for one day just to know what it felt like to be. Boy, I think they got, my, I think they got my cell phone tap. It like it was a, it looked like the video kind of went, yeah. I think they got my cell phone tapped. So you gonna be arrested Tuesday? Well, I'm letting you know right now. I don't think you are gonna be worried about Quavers. Don't worry about it. I don't think he gonna be playing in your mud. No. And I don't think you're gonna be worried about the honey bun game. Uh-uh. <laughs> you say you only eat McDonald's. <laughs> so you <laughs> Boy, you crazy. You say you only eat McDonald's. I remember when you said that. That because you you thought somebody was trying to poison you and you said you only eat McDonald's. Yeah. They're going to arrest you Tuesday. But Donald Trump, I'm going to tell you what, man. If you need anything for me, you make sure you call me. <laughs> Boy, this is fence to be a circus. But you finna shut down social media. <laughs> yeah. What did you just say? So you've been watching my videos. You've been... You just wanted, man, I can't believe you just told me rest in peace, take off. Are you serious? Donald Trump, <laughs> man, give me a hug. Yeah, my nigga. <laughs> All right, man, let me, let me get on up out of here, man, yeah. Where I gotta be? I ain't gotta be nowhere. I'm gonna go let you get. You want me to go with you? <laughs> you an old girl. Her friend's gonna be there. You don't know I already paid him off. See, <laughs> that's, why, that's why you're in trouble now. Donald Trump, you gotta stop paying these women off. It look bad on you, man. That you gonna get in trouble. Yeah, you taking, you taking funds. Why you just didn't take the money out your account, your Trump Towers? They got you, they got you bent. <laughs> You say you're going to spend somebody else's money. I get that, Trump, man. But see, that's what got you in trouble. You say, am I coming tonight? Yeah, I'm coming. We're going to work. <laughs> we finna go to Rudy's Chicken in Dallas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. Yeah, I put, let me go park my car in the middle of the street. And we can go get something to eat. 